The time card authorization screen is the primary screen used to view employee worked hours and benefits for the pay period. This is also where you can make corrections to the time cards as well as approve hours for payroll. To navigate to this screen, select Time and Attendance, Time Card Management, Time Card Authorization. First, the information will need to be populated on the screen using the filtering options. For more information on tips and best practices when doing this, watch the video titled Time Card Authorization Filters. Once the information on the screen has been populated, you may need to add or edit punches in a pay period so that time can be approved. To the right of each day, there is a button titled AP. This stands for Add Punch. Click AP on any given day to add a punch. This will open the Add Punch pop-up modal. The first field is the date field. The date will default to whatever date the AP button was selected on. Change this date if needed. Next, enter the time of the punch in a four-digit format. For example, to enter 430, enter the digits 0430. Then select AM or PM. The other options available will go to a default setting and typically will not need to be changed. However, these fields can be changed if needed. If assigning punches to an alternate cost center, the cost center will need to be selected for both the in and the out punches. If an employee forgot to punch in or out during an overnight shift, you may need to correct a punch that is being applied to the wrong day by changing the set punch to option to next day or previous day. If the punch being added is a lunch punch and your company has auto lunch rules, select an option from the lunch break dropdown to assign this as a lunch punch. This is important because if the employee has an auto lunch set up and this is not assigned as a lunch punch, the system may deduct the employee's auto lunch time as well as the lunch punches. A note associated with this punch can be typed in the system note field. System notes are only visible to company administrators and supervisors. They are not visible to the employee. System notes will appear on some standard reports and can be added as an option on a custom report. If an employee punches on any method other than a time clock, the employee can also enter a note to their approver. This will appear in the employee note field if opening an existing punch. Company administrators and supervisors can use the employee note field to enter any notes that they would like the employee to see. There are three checkboxes that appear in the AP modal. These are stop auto lunch, include auto lunch, and round punch. The Stop Auto Lunch box will remove the auto lunch from the employee's time card if they happen to work through lunch on this day and you wish to pay the employee for that time. Use the Round Punch button to let the system know that even though you're manually adding punches, you would still like the rounding rules to be applied. Use the Include Auto Lunch to re-enable an auto lunch that has been removed. Click Save when finished. Once saved, the screen will automatically refresh and the newly added punch will appear. To add a missing punch, select the AP button or the word missing for that particular day. Selecting these options will open the same pop-up modal as previously discussed. To edit an existing punch, select the time of the punch, then use the pop-up modal to make the needed edits. Any punch can be edited as long as it does not fall within a pay period where the time card has been locked or the payroll has been processed. Note that next to the Save button, any punch for a particular day can be deleted. Finally, note that editing a punch that was previously approved will cause the punch to need to be approved again. More will be discussed on approving punches in the Approving Hours video.